So one of my morning routines is to go out and deploy my high-end surround sound microphones in a location that's uh, kind of pristine and, and nice, uh, and then to walk a fair bit away from that and sit down and find myself a listening perch like this place here, and begin to listen very carefully to the soundscape around me. Um, I'm a big fan of a 19th century naturalist who had great observational skills. Um, they wrote down a lot of details about what they saw, and those observations ended up transforming much of science. Um, I have a, a very structured, semi-structured way of approaching note-taking. I proceed through just the visual experience and just trying to capture the short history of the landscape that I'm in, especially if I've been here for a while. Uh, what have the weather patterns been, for example, over the last 24 to 48 hours? And then I get into really this deep uh, listening uh, exercise where I'm, I'm trying to sort out all the different species that I'm hearing, the different frequency bands that I think that I, I hear, and the ways in which those sounds are changing over space and time. Um, where are the biophonies and the geophonies and in some cases the anthropophonies? What, when, when do humans interrupt this marvelous sound that uh, occurs all around me? Um, so the observations are, are kind of key to generating new hypotheses and new ideas. Um, if I weren't coming out here, I'd just be in a lab listening to stereo recordings all day long. And that's not really the way in which we, we need to study nature. So my notebook here is getting full. It's almost full from my uh, seven week trip out here to Borneo. Uh, a lot of what I'm doing uh, you know, includes things like uh, drawing maps of sound fields and recording devices, uh, kind of uh, generating hypotheses about how sound might change. Uh, flow diagrams are looking at the relationships and interconnectedness of, of the system and uh, the role that sound plays in it. Uh, so since I've been here, um, I probably generated maybe a dozen new questions that I need to ask about this system and maybe even other systems. And so these, these sound walks or these uh, observational uh, naturalist approaches are really key, uh, I think, to, the, to this new area of soundscape ecology.